Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now, each week I upload a new video like this, so if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, please, if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Let's get started. And as usual, we start with the Dixie. We are looking at the daily time frame, guys. As you see, last week uh, been a bearish week for the Dixie. And um, yeah, we had the divergence ongoing here, and uh, we had this uh, ending wedge start to happen on the dollar, as you see, and it got broken to the downside. So I mentioned that 92 to be an important level, uh, and on Thursday, we've got a break below that area to then see Friday a little bit of a push to the upside. That 92 will still be an important level because it is an area of... Uh, uh, support and resistance that have been tested many times previously. If we look on the weekly, you see here this has been tested the first time, and then after that, we start seeing this area to hold both as support and resistance. So, on the weekly time frame, we ended up with a bearish week, as you see here. And uh, if we go down to a little bit lower time frame to understand what's going on, we see that. On the four hour, we've got these uh, sequences of lower lows and lower highs and a huge move to the downside there last week, especially after the FOMC. So what I'm watching for this week here to see what will happen at this area now after this bounce to the upside, was this only a end of the week, end of the month's profit taking or is it a real move and that uh, the bulls will show up here and will start fight at this level. So 92 will be the level of interest for me and um, if they really gonna manage to reverse this to the upside they need to show us something like this, a push higher a little bit further up and then a retest to 92 which um, will be the level we watch to see if we're gonna get a higher low at this area. If that would be the case, there is a chance that we start seeing a little bit further upside on the dollar. Otherwise, if they fail to do so, if they fail to break above previous highs, like something, a retest toward this area only and a break below 92 again, I'm watching 91.40 as a potential level of interest for the downside on the dollar. This area here will be next target if they fail to hold 92. Okay. Gold looking um, good as first this week to then end up the week with a bearish day. Um, the previous high here was an area of interest. We were talking about this in our trading room that this uh, previous high uh, need to be broken for more upside. I still think uh, gold might retest that 618 um, as a potential correction area. So something like this to happen and then one more leg to the downside. Now they failed on Friday. As you see here, there was no break above and uh, we see that uh, gold is uh, going inside this range at the moment. So for now, what we should be doing is keep watching and playing this range at the moment because looking left here, this area here gonna be a very, very interesting support uh, level uh, the bottom of the range. You see how many times this was tested and uh, that's why I'm still watching this area as a potential support level. We'll see what will happen next week. But again, for more upside, they need to break above these levels here. And for more downside, they need to break the bottom of the range. So at the moment, keep playing the bounces. This is resistance up here and this is support down here. Play these bounces until you have a break out of it. There is nothing else to do for now. Oil uh, still pushing higher, trying to uh, tag uh, the 75 once again. After the break above these previous highs, we look left. There is not much on the way now. As you see, this area is uh, uh, pretty empty from structure until we reach this 75.50 level here. This level uh, looking left is what I think is the market objective. So 
it's going slowly but i still think that we might see something like this attack of previous high and if they fail to break higher we look for one more leg to the downside the market been pushing strongly and then it starts slow down going like uh, a little bit of a upside but more more uh, of a sideways so there is a slowdown there is potentially um bears to defend this level here next week and then give us maybe the retest of this uh, structure so keep an eye on 75.50 as a potential resistance and potential selling area euro usd did break the wedge here as you see last week we've got the break to the upside and um, yeah it tested the area that i mentioned as a potential resistance 1.19 and uh, yeah on friday we've got the um uh, the reversal candle here it could be end of the week end of the month profit taking as i said guys so um this does not need to be new birds entering the market so uh, be aware of that all in all uh, for the euro uh, the levels are clear we have the 1.19 as a uh, clear resistance and the neckline down here in this area as a potential support so for next week we will watch these two levels if they manage to break below this i think we will see continuation back down and as you remember i still think this market was um having a a target to um, or an objective to take this previous low that didn't happen so we will watch if this area will hold and the resistance is clear that was 1.19 so for more upside i want to see 1.19 broken if you want to to play a bullish move here continuation of this leg i think this area down here will be le the level that you should be watching for further upside on uh, this market sterling did a break to the upside to then correct back down once again so there was a daily candle closed above this on thursday to then see friday's candle coming uh, as a bearish candle pushing back down uh, we will wait and see here because this on the lower time frame could be a uh, break retest uh, scenario so we had the retest and we might see continuation so for next week um I will be watching where the price is at the moment, okay, to see if the market will continue this uh, bullish uh, move to the upside inside this channel. We have a nicely channel here, as you see. This uh, channel here is still for now holding. And uh, yeah, what I will uh, watch is where the price is right now to see if they will start moving to the upside or we're gonna see a break below the channel, which could mean a retest back down toward this area the old support and resistance level we had here okay those are my scenarios on this market either support and continuation but if they break the channel i'm looking for a little bit of uh, downside move on the sterling usd chappy um, a little bit of a tricky market at the moment um, i would say um, we we keep an eye on the uh, 109.20 area as a potential support and these highs here as a potential resistance for now because there is still no real momentum on each direction and if we go to the lower time frame we see that we are in this uh, consolidation phase at the moment yeah so that's better uh, to play the the bounces here from the support and the resistance this is the range that we should be playing as for now i am having very hard time to say this market will continue being bullish or will start moving to the downside since we have this range i think we uh, should be playing this range at the moment and wait for a break out of it usd chief uh, did fill the <coughs> the the um, void in price here we were talking about this last week since this market move quickly most of the time you see the price going back and uh, filling these voids in prices so now we've got this move we've had uh, this little uh, head and shoulder the neckline got broken retested and then one more leg to the downside retesting this neckline at the moment so where the price is at the moment is where i'm watching for uh, next week so on monday i will uh, start looking to see if we're gonna get any bullish evidence here to look for one bounce to the upside at least a retest of this broken structure is what i'm watching on this uh, market 
And of course, if they manage to break, let's say they keep going like this and break lower, then the continuation will be toward these bottoms down here. So as first, looking to see if we're gonna get a bounce back to the upside. If they fail, which mean a break to the downside, then I'm looking for a continuation move to the bottom of this uh, range here. USD CAD, nice uh, move to the downside, but now sitting at a potential support. So it's been tested as resistance. Here it's been tested as support. And we've got a retest of that on uh, Thursday and Friday. There was a bounce to the upside. That is not enough, but it could be at least a correction higher to happen here. So any retest back down to this level, if they fail to break, I'm looking for a bounce to the upside from this area. A retest to the broken structure might happen down here inside this little range. So keep an eye on this as a potential support. If they hold, then you might get the bounce to the upside. And if they fail to hold this level, then we're gonna see a continuation toward this area down here. This would be the market objective if the break happened below this support area. Aussie USD also um, could continue lower, looking um, a little bit of a week right now after this impulse, we have the correction and we might see further downside. So next week, if they keep failing to break higher here, if they keep failing to break above this previous level, I think we might see further downside on this market. As you see on the four hour time frame, there was this attempt, this and these attempts here. They all failed to break higher. So for now, I will keep watching this level as a potential sell area to look for further downside. I will change my mind if I see this market breaking to the upside and holding above this previous level then we might get a bullish um, correction. Otherwise, it is um, a bearish market uh, right now, in my opinion. So making a correction, which means if they break out of the correction, I'm looking for further downside as first. And the same for New Zealand. The only difference here that New Zealand is still inside this uh, daily range, which is a little bit more tricky yeah, because uh, this may end up to be a rounded bottom and you start seeing a bullish continuation, uh, sorry, a bullish correction to the upside. So keep an eye on the lower time frame, which means if they keep failing to break out here, we try to sell and look for further downside. This is my main plan. And <clears throat> even if they manage to break above this previous high here, I will be worried about these levels. So that would be the level where my, we might see uh, bearish defense once again. This is, would be the top of the range and they might enter and push this market once again to the downside. So right now it is a little bit tricky because we are still inside the range. We are a little bit in uh, the mid range, but <clears throat> keep in mind after this, they made another lower high, yet another couple of lower highs here. So the pressure is coming from uh, upside and uh, that's why I'm watching to see if we're gonna have a break lower to look for further downside on this market. And uh, yeah, that was it for this week, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.